Hey everybody, thank you for tuning back into Alpha's Barbecue. Another cook using the Patagonia today, and we're going to be doing some spicy orange marinated kangaroo fillets. I think these are going to be good, so stay tuned. You can't get yourself a much leaner piece of meat than a kangaroo fillet. So what we want to do today is marinate these kangaroo fillets for around 8 to 10 hours, and that's really going to help to take that gaminess flavour away as well as make it nice and moist and tender. And then I've got a number of spices here to try and give it a little bit of a kick for additional flavour. So we have a cup of orange juice, we have two tablespoons of minced garlic, we have a little bit of soy sauce, up to you how much you want to use, apple cider vinegar, white wine vinegar, chopped cayenne chilli, in went the salt and pepper there, and then our spices include turmeric, paprika, chilli powder, as well as a little bit of oregano for additional flavour. Give those kangaroos a nice bath for eight hours. So we're using an Argentinian grill for the Australian legend, Skippy the Kangaroo. Start yourself a fire. We've got some kindling here, that's tassie oak, and then some charcoal, just some lump charcoal. You won't need too much with this cook, spread it evenly. If you want to use some flavoured wood like hickory or cherry, that's up to you. I'm keeping it simple. I'm going to put some fire starters around my fire and then start her up. This fire will take 15 to 20 minutes to get up to temperature. So go and grab your kangaroo, give it a smell and goodness me, it smelled absolutely beautiful. The combination of flavours was driving me nuts already. By now your coal should be nice and hot. Decide what level you want to cook your kangaroo at. I want it to go high to start with. And here I'm just moving the coals around to give myself a nice bed of heat. My coals are pretty much perfect now. There's a good amount of heat coming. So time to get this kangaroo on the grill. Now kangaroo can be a very overpowering taste, very gamey. Also, if you overcook it, it can be very, very chewy. So with your cook, be careful. I've got it up high just so it can cook slowly. And then when I lower it down a little bit later on, that's when I'll start to sear it a little bit because if I sear it too early, the inside will still be extremely pink. Once I was happy, I dropped her down just a little bit simply because those coals were starting to die just a little bit. I still wanted to go slowly and I also wanted to apply that marinade to keep it nice and moist, to give it plenty of flavor. And then when I was ready, drop it down to the bottom level, sear it up. Remembering there's no fat in here, so you're not rendering any fat. You've got to be super careful with the meat itself. 135 generally is the temperature that you're going to be looking for that's going to give you a perfect medium rare. I hit it and I let the kangaroo rest. When I was slicing it up for me it was still a little bit pink in the middle but the smell was absolutely beautiful. I sliced it up, I put it on the barbecue in the slices for literally 10 to 15 seconds and for me they were perfect. All right, I've just had to move because the light's pretty crap. It's not coming on, the sun's going down. So I've got another piece of kangaroo here. Let's see how it's gone in that marinade. That's pretty damn good. Mm. It's really got rid of a lot of the game in this. You can taste the beautiful orange citrus going through it. A little bit of a kick from the chili. That's pretty good kangaroo, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really enjoying this kangaroo. I'm going to have some more, and we'll see you again in the next one. Kangaroo generally is not one of my most favoured meats. However, they are so super cheap. And with the price of steak and chicken and everything else going up, if you can find a flavour that you love in your kangaroo, then it really could be a great budget-saving piece of meat to get some protein into you guys. So give this a go if you can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.